today I am going to be talking about a new hair bag that I got because I really really love watching hair bag videos on YouTube. It's like my secret addiction so I love making them. Um, first of all if you hear any random cheering in the background that is my parents. They are currently in the lounge watching the rugby. Um, so sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, moving along to what you're all watching for. This is my new handbag. It is the Rebecca Minkoff Quilted Affair Mini, I think it's called. And this style that I have actually has little studs on the flat there. And I just thought it was really pretty. I've been looking for like a really nice small crossbody bag for a while ever since Tara got her Rebecca Minkoff mini mat. But I just felt like this was more my style than the mini mat. The quilted kind of has that Chanel vibes with the chain. But obviously Rebecca Minkoff is a lot more affordable than Chanel. So I actually got mine secondhand off the website Designer Wardrobe, which is an amazing website. It's where I get all my secondhand designer stuff. So it is a little bit worn on the chain. It's sort of got this leather that runs through it and I read online a lot of other people were complaining that that does wear down quite easily um, so it's a little bit frayed on the bag but I did think that would be quite easy to replace if I felt like it if it does start to wear down really badly um, it is a little bit sort of rugged around the back a few couple of scratches but the quilted flap on the front has stayed in really good condition one of the things I really love about this bag is the chain so it's got the really long chain or you can pull it through oh my god I'm so tangled wait hold on here we go here we go you can pull it through and have like a more of a shoulder bag so it just sits across your shoulder like that which I thought was really cool and it's like so fast to change so I guess we can take a look inside the bag now um, it's got one big flap here and you can see all my things in there and it also has one little pocket down the back which would be really cute for like keeping receipts or little bits of paper and there is like a small tiny tiny like card holder back there but I don't really use that for anything it's just got the authenticity card in it at the moment even though the bag is quite small you can see just from that shot that there's actually quite a lot in there so let's dive in and take a look at what's in my handbag the first thing sitting right on the top are my sunglasses. I don't keep them in a case because these are really cheap ones from Cotton On. So I just literally throw them in all my handbags. And they're kind of scratched, but oh well. The next thing that is also just kind of thrown in the top are my headphones. Again, they were really cheap. I suppose the next big thing in here is my wallet. I have this really little mini Kate Spade one that I got when we were in Melbourne from David Jones. And I really, really like it because it actually fits into smaller handbags like this. I know some people love really big wallets, but this one's just really easy. And you do kind of have to be limited on what cards you carry around, but I managed pretty well, so would recommend that if you're looking for a small wallet. Also tucked down the side here, I just have one lipstick, so I'd usually just carry around whatever lipstick I'm wearing. This one that I have in here at the moment is one of my new favorites. It's like the YSL Rouge Volup Shine, so it's kind of like a really kind of oily, moisturizing, shiny lipstick in this like nice pink color. Also I have in here my phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, I think. Um, yes, it is very giant, um, people always comment on that and laugh, but it does fit inside the bag. I did take off my really giant zebra case, if you've seen that in a vlog before or anything, because that was kind of hard to fit in there because it had big ears on it and it made the phone so much better. But when you have just like a normal case on it, it fits really well into the bag. And this is like the same size as an iPhone 6 Plus, if you're interested. And because I'm studying journalism, I also have the last thing in my bag, which is, oop, here we go. A notebook and a pen so a journalism student always needs to be carrying a good notebook and pen this one's actually really cool because it's made of stone paper so it's like waterproof and tear proof like you can't rip it and it's just really fun to write on it's like really soft and for my pen I have this really cute one from Kiki K that says adventure awaits go find it very inspiring and that is everything in the handbag so a pretty quick what's in my bag because it's a pretty small bag oh oh I forgot this little thing <laughs> hanging on the back is my furry little keychain and this is from Ruby my auntie got it for me for my birthday and they come in heaps of different colors and they're just really cute but yeah that is everything I am obsessed with this bag I'm so happy with the purchase I don't really know what else to say about it just that I really like it it fits a decent amount of stuff in there I could definitely just like take this out if I go shopping or for lunch or in a little like date night to the movies or whatever I think it's really versatile and the black and the silver hardware 
I think will just go with any outfit and I know Tara gets lots of wear out of her mini Mac so I'm hoping I will get lots of wear out of this one. I think I forgot to mention also that I purchased this for $100 second hand and I know it retails for like around 300 New Zealand or like 200 US something like that so I got it for like a third of the price which I was pretty happy with. I think I found it on Shopbox the other day so if you are interested I will link it in the description box down below as well as a link over to our blog which will include some like more photos of the bag and yeah next video coming at you I think will be our Queenstown vlog and Tara will be back for that so get excited and until then I will see you in the next one bye hello everyone we are doing a haul video today but it is not a normal haul video we are doing a thrift haul and it is designer thrift items the first thing I got was this black woolen skirt and it's actually